Are you wanting to build a rainwater collection system? Well, we did last year, and you know what? I bet you there's this one thing you totally didn't consider. Hi, I'm Kristen, and I help gardeners grow vegetables and flowers with ease, especially if you live in a cold climate with a short growing season. If you live in a similar climate to me, you definitely wanna hit that like and subscribe button, as well as that notification bell. Every day on Instagram and Facebook, I share exactly what I'm doing in my garden in real time. So follow me there so you two can figure out what to do when. So last year, my husband and I decided that we needed a rainwater collection system in our city backyard, because even though we can use city water, it does tend to add up in the summer. And we really wanted to lessen our footprint on the environment. So Michael built this fantastic system. We found a rain barrel on Kijiji for about $15. If you go on Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji, any sort of place like that, you'll often find these blue plastic barrels that are safe for water and you can get them for anywhere to 15 to probably about $30 per barrel depending on where you live. So he designed this system where it has a spigot at the bottom to collect the water. It's raised up on a platform so that we don't have to bend over so much. And then it also has a system so that if the barrel overflows, then the water can run off. We were pleasantly surprised last summer with how easy it was to fill up that rain barrel, even if we just had light showers or if it didn't last very long. We were kind of expecting that it would take three to four hours to fill up that barrel. But we found that between one and two, it was usually full. And we have a small house. So basically the water that's going into our rain barrel is going from half of our roof and we have a thousand square foot house. If you're interested in making your own, I have a blog post that you can go to. I'll just pop the link in the description for you. You'll find more complete directions there. Now, once the water filled up, it usually lasted me around a week to two weeks of watering, just sort of depending on the kind of weather we had. I have a garden that's about 16 feet by 12 feet, as well as eight different raised beds that I water with. Now I gotta confess, sometimes I got a little bit lazy and if I was really tired, I just used the hose because it was a bit faster. But whenever I had the time and the energy, I used water from that rain barrel. So now that I've told you about our experience and sort of everything we accounted for, there was one really big thing that we didn't account for and got surprised with this spring, is the spring runoff. <laughs> we were not thinking about the time when all the snow that was on our roof would finally melt and come into that collection system. So even though in the fall we had emptied everything, cleaned out the lines and were completely prepared for the next summer storm, we had no idea. I mean, it seems really silly in retrospect, but we just didn't think about, you know, the snow melts off the roof and there's going to be a ton of water. So we noticed that the rain barrel had totally filled up again. And then what I started doing was I started using those like Culligan water things or, you know, the water jugs you get where you fill up with water the blue ones and I filled up three of them and I was so proud of myself because hooray it wasn't spilling over anymore and our problem was solved and no I filled up those three jugs they're probably about they're probably about 10 to 15 gallons and when we went out two hours later that rain barrel was full again and it looked like I hadn't done anything and it was overflowing so for next year, I think I'll definitely have a lot more containers to take that water into. What we're doing now is with the stuff that we save, we're gonna use it for watering our seed starts. And then next year, we'll know that at the end of the season, we have to reconfigure the gutter so that it doesn't run into the rain barrel and it just runs into the regular gutter system. So this is just a short little video for you today, but I know that it's one of those things that when you start thinking about how you want to garden more efficiently, you really want a rainwater collection system, especially if it's actually legal in your area. I know some places you aren't allowed to, but where I live, we are. And I just don't want anybody to have leaks in your basement if your rainwater is like right beside the house. Now we're fortunate, ours is not right beside the house. There's like a little shed that comes out that's attached to the house. And so while it is pulling up by that shed, it's far enough away from the house that it shouldn't cause any problems in our basement. But again, if yours is right by the house, I don't want you to have problems. So I just felt like I needed to make this quick little video. I hope this has helped you. And if again, you want more gardening tips for Northern climates, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And then I'm also on Instagram and Facebook any day, check out what I'm doing. So you'll get the sneak peeks and usually find out what video I'm making a little bit before I actually publish it. 
All right then, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, bye.